Greetings, Minion. This is Velendar. And welcome to Attack of the B-Team. So, hello everyone. I'm going to try and make this as cuss-free as possible. I will uh, do my best to keep my words to a very minimal cuss level. <laughs> I only say that because I'm a foul mouth. And um, I want to make this a bit more... Um, PG-13, I guess? So, um, yeah, I've already started a world, and I I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is delete that now. There we go, delete, and we're going to create a new world now. There we go, Adventures of the Goblin King. So there we go, it's on survival. We're going to go with more, more world options. Uh, super flat, large biomes, biomes plenty is the one I want. There we go, and uh, I'm going to let do a random seed, because the last seed I did I didn't like. I'm just going to go ahead and, um, structure's on, yeah, everything's fine, let's create the new world. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to my new world. This is, uh, apparently a island in the middle of nowhere, which is fine with me. Uh, that's going to give me some challenges to work with. Uh, this is going to basically be like my vacation from the, uh from the Return Home and the Adventure series that I'm going to be doing with that one. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is uh, turn this into kind of a survival situation. Use tinkers, that kind of thing like that. Now, it seems that I'm in, I'm uh, stuck on this desert island, which are not desert, but an ice island. But it doesn't look like there's anything around. So what I'm going to do is take some time to build a bit of a house and get some things ready to be planted. So I will be back once I get a little bit taken care of. Or something exciting happens. Not that this is overly exciting, but I did manage to get some palm tree saplings, which I was a little concerned about. Got a few of those. And with this wood, I'll be able to get my, uh, well, some of the things that I need done. I set a few of my graphic ups, graphics up and things like that. But I see this as definitely a little vacation area for me. Um, I, I need to have some place to take a bit of a break from, so to speak. And that's more or less what I'm doing. I'm taking the time to um, vacation, so to speak. These are my off-the-world or off-my-other-world adventures. And I don't intend on doing a whole lot of RP other than just some loose and maybe some silly RP. And uh, I guess we'll just have to see how it all turns out. You never really know until you do it a few times. And I tend to naturally RP automatically, which some people like and some people don't. <clears throat> I don't really care whether or not you like it. It's what I do. It's what I enjoy. And it's the easiest way I can relate in, um, in these kind of games with others, I guess. And uh, so, yeah, we're just going to build a few tools and start working on my house. It seems like there's a lot of minerals down here, and I know this pack has a lot of minerals to it. Um, it really surprises me, honestly, how much there is. Um, in this, I plan on doing a, a bunch of different basic stuff, um, maybe showing off a few of the mods and things like that. I think now, since I can't uh, build an airship, because I have no sheep yet. Now, they may spawn. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Whatever spawns up there while I'm underground working on this little underground mining area and my slash house. So, really, what I'm trying to do find right now is coal. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and that, it's seeming to be, well, futile at this point. I got some redstone, but I can't mine the redstone until I have the right kind of tools to work with. And it looks like everything broke. So I will uh, I'll see what I can do in the next couple minutes and figure something out. <laughs> now it's too dark down here unless I activate some redstone, which could get very tedious after a while. So what I'm going to do down here is just get a few things all set up and ready. Um, I think I have... Yes, I do. Good. I have this. And I've got some 
coconuts to make drinks with eventually. And seaweed? I can eat seaweed, eh? Let's find out. Ooh, ooh. Yum. Seaweed. What's it give me? It gave me something really quick, but I don't know what it was. Anyways, so there you go. Seaweed does something for you. My God. I've gotten a crap load of copper. I mean, look at this. Oh, that might actually be some coal. Ah, oh, yay, coal ore. But yeah, look at all this damn copper. Man, that is a lot of copper. Oh, need to click my uh, redstone again to get it to light up. It's kind of nice to have a natural light. Don't mind the sound of my computer overheating. Processing a video in the background. But yeah, look at that. Freaking damn near a stack already of just copper. And I, again, still don't know what I can use copper for yet. But I'm sure there's a lot of different things in the mods. Um, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, got me some copper, got me some coal, I mean, and now I can work on my coal, or my furnace, and get that all set. Found a huge cache of coal there, in that corner. Um, turn all my redstone lights on. I don't see anything else down here right now, but up here it is dark. I got me some more coal here, or I mean, uh, copper here. Yeah, so, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I will make me a few torches because it will help me with this. Let's get this place a little bit lit up. There we go. That's a little better now. I don't want no monster spawning inside. Okay. Well, it looks like all that copper is not going to do me any good for armor or weaponry or anything like that. Let's go with our recipe to make copper. How about you? See, there's like you can buy that you can make this stuff with it, but I mean, a copper coil, a bunch of like th thermometer or something like that, a bunch of stuff. It's not gonna help me with any of my um, like immediate needs right now, but at least I've got it, and I guess that's what counts. Still nighttime out, but it looks like the uh, the sun is on the rise. If I can keep from whacking that down. I don't hear any monsters, which is good, I guess. Uh, uh, maybe it's because I don't have more than 14 blocks. And it doesn't look like any of my palm trees have grown yet, which kind of sucks. But, hey, you know, that's the way it goes. I will um, keep going. Zombies. He's caught in the water. Looks like there's a skeleton out there, too. I can deal with the zombies because I want fertilized soil or whatever, which is good. And that's um, a piece of dirt surrounded by zombie flesh. And now I'm a zombie. Let's take a look. Ah, crap. How do I change? Ah, dang it. There we go. Change back. Come on. Ah! Jump in the water. Whew. So, yeah. Wow. How wonderful is that? <laughs> I guess that's the way it goes. Uh, back to digging. And it looks like one of my palm trees grew, which is great. That'll get me some extra, extra wood and stuff going on right now. And that'll be able to help me get my house built. You know, I'm not one to really care about too much as far as like how things look. But one thing I do want is my... Uh, my house to be halfway decent even if, if this is a vacation home I think that this uh, would look a lot better and instead of cobblestone it's gonna be bricks we'll have to see I don't really know how well it'll turn out but you know what I mean yay for whatever you call it um, experience <laughs> experience jeez anyways so I'll get some of those cooked up and make me some bricks. Ugh. Goblins, we hate the sun. But one thing we hate more than that is the rain. I mean, going for a swim or something because you got to get something. Or chase somebody down or something like that. That's a little different. But the rain, ugh. That's just... It's just... I don't know. Kind of gross. 
Yay, trees. And coconuts. I'm gonna have more coconuts than I know what to do with. Come here. Ooh, joy. Maybe it was a bad decision to use wood. Just straight up wood. Not really sure yet. I haven't decided. I just like the look of it. So what I might do is just use the bottom row as wood. And, uh, yeah. And then just use regular, like, planks on the top. Or on the, uh, the middle two rows. I think that'll probably be for the best. And here. And let's see here. Boom. I think I could do one more level up. Yes, I believe so. Tropical islands are well known for their obvious tropic rain nature. I've used up all my torches, unfortunately, on all this other stuff. I better get inside before they can spot me and decide I was going to be meal time for them. Unfortunately, I don't have enough of another kind of wood to do anything but make a regular door. That's fine, I can handle a regular door. Let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. And good, and very good. And I'm going to go mining for more coal. Unfortunately, I'm not finding any luck with any coal, which means I'm probably going to have to make, make some uh, charcoal, which kind of bums me out a bit, but that's all right. That's the way it goes. You can only do so much. We're expecting something to change. And, um, I'm gonna have to take out those damn things upstairs because I can't. I can't deal with the sound of them. And all that crap all the time. There we go. Make me a sword. And boom. And we are good. And I'm going to gear. I need to make a chest. Yep. There we go. A chest. Oh, I've got some palm wood. I guess I could probably burn that up. No, it probably... Yep, used it all up. Bummer. Mm, let me see here. A little wood. Yes. Throw some palm wood in there to find out. Let's see if I can throw a little wood in there. And uh, what was I going to do? Mm, I can't remember. Oh, cook that up? Will it not cook? Okay, it will not. There was something I was going to cook. Oh, to see if this could make leather. It does not. Alright, so I'm gonna go kill me some stuff. I killed me a spider. There we go. Hello, hello, I'm a spider, and I can climb up walls. Watch me climb up the wall. Isn't that awesome? I'm a wall climbing spider. A spider. Alright. Velendar. There must be an underground water flow or something. I hear it, like, rushing. But I needed to get some clay. I saw some, and I thank God for that. And some dirt. Now all I need to find is some gravel. So there's some ah uh, underground or underwater water. Underwater flows. Wonder where it goes. Shall I find out, or shall I drown to death? Might go do that again in a couple minutes. Well, this surprises me. I cannot make a um. I can't make a chest with palm tree planks. That's just weird. Weird. Charcoal, nothing, nothing, nothing. Throw some of those in there for later. I guess I'll make some torches. I think I found a squid. Don't throw my... Don't throw that out there. What is that? Oh, they're not squids. It's some kind of... It's seaweed. Dang it. Urgh. That would have been so much nicer to found a squid. Come on. You know why? So that way I could breathe underwater. And go mining for some other stuff down below. I've got such a far way to go between any place that I have to do something different. I don't want to just, uh, take a boat out in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, more seaweed. Goody. 
Goody, 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 goody. Alright. So let's take a look and see what I can make with, um, with Palm. I can make really nice planks. I can make a dagger. Well, that's a surprise. What is that? Chunk O head. Don't know what that is. Yeah, the standard stuff. The standard stuff. The standard stuff. Trapdoors and things like that. When here, clay and sand mixture to make what? To make wood ash. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot of use for it, and that kind of sucks. Oh well. You hear that in the background? It's kind of low. But you know what that is? That's the sound of rushing water, which means that cave is somewhere nearby. And I'm curious what's in that cave. Though I don't really have the torches and stuff to go find out now. But maybe there might be um, some coal down there. So if I manage to accidentally dig into it, because I'm going in that direction anyhow, then I might just have a look around. So I do have 13 torches left, but I am using them up a bit. We will have to see. And I did find some good iron now, finally. And look, more copper. What do you freaking do? Meh. Holy wah! Same spot, just other side, more iron. I didn't even see it over there. And then there's salt, but I'm not really sure about salt. I know that you can use it for stuff, but I'm just not sure what. Let's find out. I think it's for, like, ants or something. Let me look. Salt. Well, that organized that. I did not expect that. Alright, you. A worktop shaped. Hmm. You can make a salt block. Beef pie. A sandwich bread. Salt with flour. Huh, well that's kind of cool. No idea. Anyways. Oh, look what I found. Diamond. I was just clearing out this uh, copper. And I'm like, la da 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 da. Oh, shite ski. So, yeah, as soon as I find me out with it, I might go burn some damn wood up just so I can get that freaking diamond. Oh, here we go. Jeez. Awesome. Yep, I'm going to burn up some wood just so I can get some damn some damn diamond. I want diamond. Let's see if I got any trees back grew up again or not. Oh, there's one. And it's a nice tree too. Awesome. Let's see if my axe will reach. Not stone. Or I mean not shovel, axe. Yay. It's weird how the trees fall apart so quick in this. It's kind of cool though. Oh, lost a piece of sand. Okay, let's see here. Inventory. You may not know, but I really do hate inventory being I. So whenever I get a chance, I always switch it out to something else. This time I use the uh, little different one that I normally do. Um, what's it called? The I don't know. It's called Grave on here, but it's that little like swishy thing. A Nike symbol, kinda. Jeez, come on now. But now I'll be able to get some iron. Awesome. I see you back there, Diamond, calling out to me, making me want you. Not until I break this pick, though, will I be going and mining you. Ooh, how does it make me want him? Or it, Diamonds. Yes. I can still hear that rushing water, which makes me wonder if it might be a crevice or a, a canyon. Hmm. Ah, it is time for the diamond. Yes. It makes me smile. Look at all these with diamond ore, too. There's a lot there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, how happy. I'll be able to get all this ore out of the way. 
Give me some redstone. Look at there. There's more iron. Awesome. More iron. All right. Well, anyways. <laughs> oh, I'm just too excited. Oh, more over there. God, I love this extra ore stuff. Oh, I almost cussed. <laughs> oh, there we go. Creeper got me earlier. I didn't record it. Uh, didn't kill me, thank God. But, man, did it make me angry. I wanted to get in there and beat its rear end in. But no such luck for me. No such luck for me. Oh, you know what? Oh, I've got you. I don't know if you guys are fans of South Park, but I, I've always been a fan of South Park. Not overly, not like hugely or anything like that, but definitely a fan. And um, I'm going to tell you something right now. That new game PewDiePie was playing it today, and I love, as any of you may know, I'm a role player. And I would love to play that game. That looks so damn cool. I think it's an early release, but I might be wrong. You know, coal is a freaking commodity. What the heck, man? I've not found any coal at all. Bad enough I'm stuck on this stupid island with no good trees. I'm going to have to leave just so I can freaking go get good trees. Oh, coal, finally. Good lord, yes. I mean, I got this nice cobblestone here. Marble cobblestone. What do you freaking do? Better put me a torch down here. There we go. But yeah, just can't can't seem to find any uh, cobblestone or <laughs> getting distracted. Um, coal until now. This is the first cache of coal I found since that other one. They usually have pretty good veins of it near diamond or at least normally. Though in this pack, I'm I've got my doubts. Oh look, turn it. Uh. Get rid of dirt. There we go. Yay for coal. Awesome. So I'm going to get the rest of this and head back up and probably make me a diamond pick to wear down. And a diamond one. I just, oh man, I'm just so happy to have some freaking coal and diamonds. Yay. Look, silicone. Okay, well. <laughs> 